Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're in a bunker and we're in a situation where we're in fairly firm, hard sand. I'm going to show you how to get out of it. Stay tuned. So if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf. And if you'd like to play better golf, just click on the subscribe button and click the bell notification to be advised of all of the golf tips so I can help you lower your score. I've been a golf pro now for 33 years and uh, I've learned some tricks along the way and I come from Melbourne, Australia. And Melbourne, Australia is very famous for its firm, hard packed sand. Here we are. The ground here is quite firm, it's powdery, and it's got a very firm base. So there are five things that we need to work on today to help get us out of this bunker shot. The first thing we're going to talk about that you need to know how to play this shot off the hard sand is we need to look at the bounce of the golf club. So if I do what most people do in a bunker, and that is open the club face up, you can see this leading edge here is rising. So if I have a ball on, the, on my hand, and if I'm coming down and the back of that club hits the sand, I can't get the leading edge out if it's firm. It's okay if there's a lot of sand, because by opening the club face, the club leading edge doesn't tend to dig as deeply as what it would otherwise. So the first thing we really have to do when we're in here is to get that club face nice and square. There are times when I have closed the club face because you can see when I close it, the leading edge gets closer down to the back of my hand. So it's really important we have that square club face, not open, and that helps us to get that leading edge under the ball from the firm surface. Okay, so the second thing we need to do is we need to create a more shallow angle of attack. If we come down steep off the hard pan and we hit a few inches behind the ball, it's gonna bounce off that hard sound. We, so we wanna get that nice shallow angle of attack. So if we can do that, the leading edge is gonna get under the ball. Remember, we've got the leading edge square and that's gonna assist us in getting that leading edge under, getting the ball up and out of the bunker. So the third thing we need to do to play this shot is we need to keep our body pretty quiet. The more I move my body, the harder it is for me to make good contact. Bunker shots are fairly short shots. This is about a 10, 15 yard shot, something like that. It's not an extremely steep lip. So we don't need a lot of power, but we really do need to make good solid contact. So I want to keep my lower part of my body quite still. So I don't want to start doing that as I'm standing here. I just want to keep it nice and still so that way I'm taking just a little bit of sand we don't want to take feel like we're going to take a big divot the fourth thing is we're going to have a slightly shorter swing than normal because the longer the swing the more inclined I'm going to be to come down on a steeper angle of attack and as we've already discovered that steep angle of attack makes it harder for us to get the ball out of the bunker so if I can keep that swing a little bit shorter it gives me a better chance to make good contact. The better the contact, the easier this shot is gonna be. And the fifth thing is we need a slower swing overall because the faster I swing, the less control I've got of my club head. The slower I swing, the more control I have of my club head. So sure, we don't wanna decelerate. We don't wanna get in here and start quitting on the shot. We still wanna accelerate, but overall we're keeping the whole swing a little bit slower. So we'll see how I go with this one. I have my ball just slightly forward, that doesn't change. My body's going to be quiet. I have my club face nice and square. I'm gonna have a shallow angle of attack and I'm gonna swing it slower. And there's a pretty good shot, it came out I've got a nice little thin scraping of, of, of sand there and the ball's come out. It's probably kicked to the right. I should have aimed left. It slopes left to right. But the, the beauty of it is it got out. We'll see if we can do it again. I'll aim this one a bit further left. Same thing. So club face square, ball slightly forward of center, body quiet, 
shallow angle of attack and a slow swing. I'm pretty happy with that too. So there you have it. There's five things that you can do to help play that bunker shot from the hard sand. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the subscribe button down on the round golf ball down the bottom there. And uh, don't forget to click the bell notification. I look forward to helping you again with your golf in the next video. In the meantime, play good golf.